Good afternoon, you lot. To me, it's the afternoon. Yes, it's a Tuesday afternoon for me. Now, I'm, it's very rare and unusual that I do any filming or anything during the week, especially on a... Well, there's no point, is there, with nothing to do. But, I've had a bit of a delivery. Now, I need to do a little bit of explaining first. I had said that I wasn't going to get any more... Uh, you can probably know what this is by the title of the video, so... But I said I weren't going to get one until I sold the trophy truggy and that's still up for sale um, it hasn't sold yet but I've been doing a bit of buying and selling uh, and I managed to sell enough CB radios and uh, other bits and bobs uh, and I've made up enough money to get myself what, what we're about to unbox so but by the time you see this video the trophy truggy might have sold because I don't plan on putting this video up for a little while so it might have sold by then but at this point it hasn't um, but seeing as it seems to this um, MP9 seems to be out of stock in every bloody shop. Um, I know some people were saying get a second-hand one, which I would usually like to get used stuff. I don't like buying new things, but on this particular occasion, I decided to get myself a new one. When it comes to nitro cars, I like to get everything. I like to get a new one so that I can break in the engine properly, my way anyway. I say properly, but my way. And anyway. It seemed to be out of stock in every place. You know, I'd rather have gone to Active Scale Models um, because that's my local RC shop. But they were out, I had a quick look on their website, out of stock. And they've been out of stock for months. I keep checking up, been out of stock for months. Um, you know, even Model Sport were out of stock on them. The only place that I could find that had a stock of them was Wheel Spin Models. So well done, Wheel Spin Models. Thank you very much. Um, it was delivered today, about an hour ago this afternoon. Um, literally, I got in from work, and it arrived about half an hour after I got in. Well, about an hour after I got in. Yeah, about an hour ago. Yeah, about an hour after I got in. So that was pretty handy. So uh, there we go. So let's go and have a look at this, shall we? I've got me, I've got me cup of coffee, and today, not, I ain't got bourbons today. I've got custard creams. Look, oh, we love a custard cream, don't we? Anyway, let's have a look at this. All this is is going to be an unboxing. So hope you not like unboxings. I'll uh, see you in a minute. Right then, look at this. Lovely, um, I'm going to do this on the floor because it's easier for me if we do it, if we uh, uh, open it up on the floor. So this, you know, you, your ordinary box, what you get, it says what servos and engines and things that you've got on the side. Just an ordinary box, really. I did, uh, I had a comment on one of my other videos when I was unboxing a CB radio. And um, someone said, why do you go over the box so much? No one cares about the box. So I'm going to make special effort to linger around the box. It's a lovely box. It was a very smooth box. And it's a nice box. Well, I think that's enough about the box. So open it up. And away we go. Look at that, my friends. Look at that, my friends. That's fantastic, isn't it? This is what we really want. I think we can have a bit of fun with this. What's it? Oh, need a knife. Need a knife, I do. Is that the only knife I need? Put it up on the bench and we'll have a closer look in a minute. And we've got it up on the bench. But uh, there we go, look. Grand spanking new. Fantastic, eh? If that don't make you happy, I don't know what that, what does. There's our instruction manual. We're having a little bit of a read through that. I don't usually read manuals, so I probably won't read it. Um, what we got? This should be a transmitter and all that, hopefully. Transmitter, oh, lovely jubbly. Look at that. We're happy with that. Yeah. Then we've got our air filter, and spanners, and, and bits and bobs. So I'll put it up on the bench and we'll stick the air filter on and have a closer look at it and things like that. So, 
And then after that, after we've put the air filter on and had a bit of a closer look, we'll have a little chat. We'll, we'll have a little chat because I've had a few questions and I want to answer them for you. Right then, you lot. If you lot are regulars and you're familiar with this, this is uh, my little setup. This is what I do. It's, uh, I stick it up on this little bench. And this is where we work. So you get a little bit of polythene on there. Get rid of that. Looks like we've got cable ties holding the back down for some reason. So let's take off this little clip. Now this is actually um, the first Kyosho that I've ever owned. Um, usually I'm all HPI. Uh, HPI, um, bit of Traxxas or whatever here and there. But uh, not usually Kyosho. So let's get some snippers, some side cutters, cut off them cable ties. Get rid of them. Look at that lovely bit of suspension there. That's fantastic, isn't it? Love that. Really liking the way this set up. Don't really know what that's for. Now, what kind of battery pack does it take? Oh. So that's going into there, is it? That's a bit annoying. We're going to have to try and do something with that, I think. See if we can stick a battery in there. Because what I've got, I've got one of these hump packs. I was kind of hoping I'd better stick that in there. This, this one's leaking a little bit. It shouldn't do. It's only a few weeks old. Um, but it's leaking a little bit, which is a bit of a shame. But never mind. I'll stick it in it anyway. Um, looks like that wire is... I might have to unscrew... Um, I'm going to have to unscrew that so that I can, because that wire feeds through, through there and goes into here, see? So I'm going to have to unscrew it and we should better plug that in. So I'll just do that and then we'll get back. Now there's something worth mentioning and I think I should show. So I've got my battery pack in there now. I'm going to change it for a new, a better one that ain't leaking, but this will do for now. So that fits in there. Um, I'm going to put a bit of padding around it to stop it from moving around. Um, but it's got the two, the red two-pronged connector on it, whereas this car, this buggy, takes the three-pronged connector. But there's still only two prongs in there, so all you've got to do is make sure that you get the earth and the positive in the same place. Um, it, it, like that. And then just plug it in. And it'll be good to go. So just something worth mentioning. So there we go. We've got adjustable suspension there, look. You know, I'm sure you lot know what an MP9 is by now. They've been out for long enough. Um, but uh, you don't see very many people getting them out of the box new. You just sort of see videos of people using them. You don't really see people getting them out of the box, but they're a bloody good car, man. They seem to be very well built. I've seen a few up close, you know, and I've looked at them, so I know what they're all about. Um, but I've never had one, so I thought this would be a great time to have one. Really quite excited about it. So, if you like this type of thing, brilliant. Um, I'd like to do a few more unboxings and things like that, and uh, reviews. And that. I'm not going to review this. Well, I might do it. If it's requested, I'll review it, but I ain't really needed to review it because it's a racing buggy, you know. Who, who cares you know, what a racing buggy is like? People who buy these MP9s ain't going to be caring about no reviews are they so won't be doing that but um 
hopefully this summer's going to come out good. I'm selling pretty much everything apart from a few things. Um, there's going to be loads of builds coming up. Really quite excited about that. So anyway, you lot, I'm off. I'll see you on the next one. I'm sure there'll be many videos before this one goes up. But anyway, I'll see you on the next one, dudes. Hopefully we get a nice warm day because it's really wet outside at the minute. It's been raining all day today. Everything's all wet. So I was going to go down to the local park and uh, break this new buggy in, but it's all wet out there and I don't want to get it all dirty yet and in the wet and everything. So really for breaking an engine in, you want to go to somewhere like a big open car park so you can run it up and down in the dry to get it all pretty good before you go and get it dirty. But anyway, I'm off. Thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for just being great people. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now.